It's our first studio project in our online studio. Yay! Unlike other big studio projects we have done in the past, you're going to complete this in 30 minutes in your sketchbook. The composition may be a little small, but it will be mighty because you get to choose how you want to commit to your work. First, this project, you will be creating a cropped still life composition that focuses on your seeing skills. You will first focus on edges of an object that express a part of your identity while also looking for the positive and negative spaces you see. So we're not only exercising our seeing skills, but also expressing our identity in our artwork. Let's first go over the rubric and then check out my artistic process and how I used my seeing skills. All right, guys, here's our rubric. We know we want to be developing artists. That's our goal in the gray. I also show criteria for beginning artists. But we're going to focus on the gray side, the right side. So criteria number one, you have to have subject matter and a purpose. We're creating an original still life composition with subject matter of an object or objects that express an important part of your identity. Okay. You don't express your identity. If it's just a random object, you're not going to get full credit. You're only going to get half credit. Criteria number two to get full credit. Craftsmanship, my friend, creating with integrity. If you're going to create something, you're going to do it well, right? In quality. You create a high quality drawing, painting, digital art. Remember, you get to choose how you commit to make your artwork. You want to demonstrate good craftsmanship while using those materials safely and effectively. Here's a big thing, guys. Your subject matter, that positive space, has to touch all four sides of your picture plane, of your paper plane. If you didn't zoom in and crop your subject matter so it touches um, all four sides, you're not going to get full credit. Be aware of that. Criteria number three. Remember, we're looking at the gray side. Our elements of art, it's our ingredients of how we create our composition. We want to see a clear indication of positive and negative space. So we can tell the difference. You need to shade in or color in or however you're going to choose to commit to your work. You need to shade in that negative space. If you leave that negative space empty, that background empty, you're not going to get full credit. Spicy option. Draw the details of your object in your positive space as well. Criteria number four, your principles, the rules you have to follow to make aesthetically pleasing artwork. You have to ba balance your positive and negative space with about a 50-50 ratio. So it should be about 50% positive space, 50% negative space that you shaded in. Also, we want to see that you contrasted your positive space and your negative space with color or value. And you emphasize that negative space with color or value. So let's get started. What I'll do if I'm zooming in and cropping in in something, I will create like a viewfinder with my hands, or I'll just use a piece of paper and cut a square rectangle out of there. So then what I can do is I can zoom in to a special part of my subject matter um, and then crop out the rest that I don't wanna see. Now here you can see, uh-oh, I'm only gonna get half credit because my fiddle leaf fig isn't touching all four sides of my image. All right, that's better. Now I can see that my positive space, my subject, my plant is touching all four sides of my square. That way I know I'm creating some really interesting negative space shapes in the background. That's really important because remember the negative space in our composition is going to be the star. Alrighty, time to use my eyes and scrutinize. That means look very closely at the edges of my plant. I see that there are lots of kind of curved organic lines, um, some vertical lines, uh, but mostly some diagonals. So once I find those lines and I focus on that um, positive space, man, I better sketch light until it's right, okay? So I want you to be sure that you do not sketch so heavy like I did here. I only made a dark line just so you could see it in the video. But you guys need to sketch super duper light because remember, we're not just committing with pencil. If I were to stop here and I didn't shade in my negative space, I'm only getting half credit for this assignment. So let's focus on that negative space next. Time to commit. 
We're going to flip the script and actually emphasize our negative space by shading it in. Usually, we spend all of our time shading in our positive subjects. Not this time. And the coolest part, you get to choose what medium and process you want to use. I decided to use colored pencils because I wanted bright, expressive colors. Um, also, because this paper is a little bit thin and I wanted to make sure that I didn't tear my paper. I've been really inspired by graffiti lately, so I love these kind of like rough colors blending together. But notice when I'm shading in my negative space, just like anything, when you're shading in a shape, you want to work your way around the edge first, define that edge, and then fill it in. Now, technically, I could stop here. I'm really happy with my negative space, and that was the whole point to this assignment. Um, but you know me, I've got to get spicy and I want to go back and actually draw those details of the inner contours of that plant. That's more like it. I like those details. So I wanted to tell you, I chose my fiddle leaf fig tree. Um, the tree's name is Fern Gully because I wanted to express my love of being a plant mama. I used to kill every plant that came inside of my house but I'm really working on learning how to like nurture those plants um so there you go remember guys don't tear this out of your sketchbook let's keep it in a safe place for later and when you're finished proceed to the next slide to learn how to upload your picture to our google classroom I want to see your great work not to mention y'all remember this is for a 40 point grade have fun